Hello coders. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build the project for this series of posts I finished named data science and machine learning project house prices data set. So this is a series on data science and machine learning applied to a house prices data set from this Kaggle competition right here. This Kaggle competition. So here you have the uh, overview of the, the competition, the data, some notebooks, uh, discussion, you know, everything you need to to join this competition. And uh, I wrote this series of five articles. So we have the EDA part one and part two here, where I go through the exploratory data analysis of the data in detail, explaining why I imported those libs, why I made certain decisions, and what was the, the result from, from these decisions with every single step. Then uh, I turned all of these decisions into a single script to clean the data all at once. So it's, it's easier for us to repeat this process of taking the data and outputting a clean data to work with. With this clean data, uh, we can generate the machine learning model. That's what I show on this post specifically. So it trains the data, give us an RMSE, saves a binary of the model. And here is the whole script that trains the, the data. And finally, uh, we see how we can take this model and create an API using the fast API framework this, this is the fast API framework in case you would like to take a look at it. And then we create this API that we can use to make predictions using our, our machine learning model. All right. So the, the, the intention of this video is not explain all of these uh, steps. The, the idea here is to show you how you can reproduce all this project using the GitHub repository that I created here on this link. By the way, you can also download a PDF version of this project by clicking on this link with the full source code linked in the book. So you just click there, you will see this page and you can download it for free. So uh, back to the GitHub rep repo, I just click this link. Here's the, rep the repository here. I hope you can see it clearly. So what I'm gonna show you is how you can use this repository. I'm just gonna follow the readme file here on the, on the page. So let's read what it says and follow through so you can see how easily we can reproduce this whole project end to end. So this repository implements a data science and machine learning project applied to a house prices data set from the Kaggle competition house prices advanced regression techniques. In this repository, you will find uh, the requirements file 
which is the packages you need to install using the pip to uh, the data itself in the csv format the jupyter notebook with the exploratory data analysis the data cleaning script i have to fix this with the data cleaning script we can clean the data it's a python script then with the train model.py we can train the clean data and create our machine learning model then the predict.py file is the file with the house price model class that we use to load and to load the machine learning model and actually make the predictions and then we have the api.py that was created with the framework fast api that uses this class to make the predictions so this is the interface we can use to make the predictions through an api and then we have this test api file that tests this api.py so we can you can see how how it works so it says to use this data just follow the 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 steps in the next sections so that's what we are going to do first things first i'm going to clone this repo you can also download as zip here so i'm just gonna git clone all right that was fast i'm gonna get inside so you can see all the files here the api the readme project requirements everything described here on this list so let's follow the steps for every single command so let's create the virtual amp to isolate the python project so I'm just gonna copy and paste here. All right, we have the virtual env directory. Now we're gonna activate this environment. Okay, you can see the environment was activated because now we have this vamv inside parentheses here now we can install the packages with pip install r requirements dot txt this might uh, take a while it will download all the packages we need and install each one of them there are many packages because we have to load the Jupyter notebook we have to create models we have to create the api so it might look like a lot of stuff here but it it really isn't considering how much stuff this whole project actually does and um, uh, notice we are using python 3 here so this is, this is important make sure you you are creating your environment with python 3 in my case if i just type python without this tree i will have a python 2 environment so check your installation of python to make sure you are using the right installation so you can see here successfully installed and then a bunch of packages were installed um, and and after the 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 command here on the readme file you can see the uh, it says you should see a message similar to this at the end and then it yes it, it's it's similar like see babel jinja markup safe so success okay so uh the first step here is you can see how to execute the exploratory data analysis that i did in the jupyter notebook 
the file with the ZDA, it's this one. So to see this on the, the browser, we can execute this command. Jupyter Notebook and then the name of the file right after it. It will take a while and then OK. I'm going to clean all these outputs so we can see a fresh, a fresh run. Uh, let me see what it says. It says, then with the note, Jupyter Notebook open, go to cell, run all to see all the commands executed. So let's do what it says, cell, run all. Let's see the imports, the, the load, the loading of the data here. The, 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 here we see the head command to see some, some records, info, describe. So you can see that the EDA notebook works fine just by following these, these steps. If you would like to understand what's, what, what is actually being done here, please go back to the, the, the articles. They will be linked below on the video so you can follow through. I, maybe I will record a video show you, showing you all these, these, these steps in video for those of you who are more visual but the, this will be another video. This one will be just to test this project so you can try it by yourself. So we have our Jupyter Notebook here successfully running. Okay, all right. So the next step would be to clean the data, create the machine learning model and run the API. So to clean the data, we just have to execute this command. Let me finish the kernel. All right. If you take a look at, at the data cleaning.py, it just expects you to have this raw data.csv on the same folder. So here we have it. Now we can execute. All right. Let's see. It says we should see this output as expected here. You can see it's the same. Perfect. And this will generate clean data.csv. Let's see. Now we have clean data.csv. Perfect. Now we are going to create the machine learning model. Again, it's very simple. Just execute this command. I'm going to show you that everything this script expects it's the file cleanedata.csv, which is the output of the last script data cleaning. So you have to execute all these, these commands in order to have the desired output. Okay, so let's now train our model. All right. The expected output, it's this one. So you can see it, it matches which means it ran successfully. And it says this will create, create train.csv, test.csv, and model.pkl, which is the binary form of our machine learning model. So you can see that now we have train, test, and model. So it worked.
Now we are going to test this model with an API. To run the API, we are going to execute this uvcorn command here. All right, it's running. So this is the output we are expecting to see. You can see it successfully. And then we are going to open another terminal and activate the virtual environment again. You don't have to install the packages one more time. You already have the packages. So just open another terminal like I, I'm doing here. It's very small. Let me make it bigger. A little bit too much. Okay, I think that's okay. I'm going to activate the environment here on this terminal too. All right. And then we can just test the API by running this command. Uh, let me show you real quick. This is the whole API. It has a simple root endpoint to check if it is online, nothing special here. And then we have the project endpoint that actually loads the model and makes the prediction and returns the, the prediction. Okay. And the test API, it, it has a sample input this is a dictionary with every single feature we use to train our model here. You can see all the features on this dictionary. And then it uses the requests module to make the request to our API. This is the endpoint we are going to use to make the prediction. It's the local host on port 8000 and the project project endpoint then we have the headers application json accept text plane and then it will submit the the post and it will print the sale price this is the actual price that correspond that corresponds to this dictionary here with this sample input which is a hundred and nine and nine thousand dollars and right after it it will print the predicted sale price so let's see this in action oops we just have to run this command and then that's it we have the actual sale price, which is this one we are printing here. And then we have the, the price predicted by our machine learning model, which is pretty much the same. There is just a few extra, a few extra houses here, a few, a few extra numbers here, but they can be ignored. All right. So that's it. This, this video is only to show you how you can execute this, this process of this whole, this whole project. I hope you liked and I hope you can find this, this whole project useful for your studies in, in machine learning as, as a whole. Um, by the way, you can also see how our our test went okay by looking at the the server here running on the first terminal you can see here post project 200 okay so it was a successful call all right that's it uh, leave a like if you did thanks for watching remember to subscribe See you in the next one.